This is a magnifying glass, and it can catch paper on fire. This is a Fresnel lens, and it can do a little bit more than that. But what is a Fresnel lens? Well, it's going to take the sunlight, and it's going to focus it through a bunch of optics on the surface of the Fresnel lens itself. So it's going to take all of the sunlight that it collects and put it onto one little small area. And what that means is, it's going to be pretty hot for whatever you put in front of it. I know it's going to burn paper, so the next thing I want to try is just some thick cardboard I had laying around. And you can see instantly it just kind of catches on fire and I just trace out just a little shape with it. It's kind of wild how fast that it just catches on fire. Pretty cool. The next thing I wanted to put in the focal point is just this long piece of wood I had. And you can see instantly it starts to catch on fire and almost acts like a laser or like a wood burner. It just kind of marks it up and chars it up. It's pretty impressive. This isn't the biggest lens, but it puts out a lot of power. Let's try out this orange crayon. I put it right in the hot seat, right in the focal point, and it instantly starts to smoke and steam and just turn into a liquid pool of orange crayon. Kind of reminds me of candle wax. The next thing I want to try is some hard candies. I put them right in the focal point and instantly they started to smoke, or I guess one piece started to smoke and it just turned into a bubbling mess of black candy sugar. And honestly, this was, was probably my favorite to look at because it was just such a cool reaction and I think it showed up the best on camera because it's hard to show heat on camera. I pulled it off the fire and I mixed it up and this stuff was just a million degrees. No way would anyone want to touch it. Next up, I slid some water in the hot seat and I just want to see how long it would take for it to boil, if it would boil, and how hard it would boil. After about 5 minutes of it having sit there continuously in the sunlight, you can definitely see little tiny bubbles and it's starting to boil a little bit, but it ended up not boiling super crazy and I don't know how realistic it would be to boil a large amount of water with it. Next up, tin can top. And if you notice, the thing is just like glowing orange hot, pretty wild, definitely don't want to touch it. But sadly, it didn't punch a hole in it, but it did warp it and leave it like a nasty bruise. Let's go ahead and try some poppets. And for those who don't know what they are, they're pretty much little fireworks that when you take them and you throw them on the ground, they just make a little pop. So I took a little pile of four of them and I stuck them right in the hot seat. And who would have guessed? <laughs> they popped. It was pretty fun. Next up, some tiny lead pellets. I arranged them nicely and I stuck them right in the sun and this is going to be playing in real time just so you can see how quickly they melt. And just after honestly a couple seconds they start to deflate and turn into a little pool of molten lead. I was really impressed with how fast they melt. I didn't think they would melt that fast. You can see I just completely mix it up. Pretty wild. Next, the penny test. Let's see what happens to a penny. I set it up right in the focal point and just let it start cooking. After a couple seconds, it starts burning the wood around it. And after a little bit longer, the color changes a bit and looks a little weird around the edges. And then for the next bit, we're just going to watch what happens. Jeez. <laughs> the penny just deflated. Yep, it totally deflated, and it turned a pretty crazy color. Pretty cool. Up next, the dinosaurs. I slowly introduced them into the bright focal point, and you can see they don't like it very much. <laughs> After a little bit of time, you notice that it's actually like growing where the sun is burning it. It's like growing a strange horn. Poor guy is just melting into a puddle. I then directed the sun to big blue, and if you can see, right when it starts hitting its back, it starts to grow again, kind of like the horn situation on the yellow one. Poor guy is just <laughs> smoking on fire. A pretty wild sight. So you can see, this is what happened to them. Gross. It's like crispy. That's gross. Let's try this rock. Now it's time to really push this thing. I set the rock in the focal point and I honestly didn't expect much to happen, but I was hopeful because you gotta be. And after I removed the light so I could see, I noticed it was actually glowing a bit. So I instantly focused it on it again and then I just waited some more time. 
If you look closely, you can actually see it growing the size of the hole. And if you notice, it's actually glowing orange when I removed it. I tried to grab a small piece of rock and kind of stick it to it, but it actually made quite a big gouge inside of it. I couldn't even touch the molten part. Let's go and try this little rock. I put in the focal point, and you can see little things kind of fall off of it. And, and honestly, you can see it bubbling just a tiny bit on the very bottom left. I think it's been quite a long time since this rock has been that hot. I'm super impressed with the output of this Fresnel lens. You can see it made quite a big gouge in this big rock and it actually turned the material a little bit of a purple hue to it. And this is the small rock. It kind of ate about half of it. Pretty wild stuff. The last thing I want to try is this aluminum can. I thought for sure it would punch a hole in it, but after a while I realized that it was actually just reflecting a lot of the light and it burned a hole in the bottom of my bucket. So now my bucket is no longer a bucket. <laughs> Well, it's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun just experimenting and playing with the Fresnel lens. Always be careful and safe when you're playing with stuff like this and always make sure you know what you're doing. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, or hope you just had fun. Thanks for stopping by and have a beautiful, wonderful day.